Hi guys, today we start my Java tutorial. So first I am going to create a Java project. I will call it Java Family Tree because that is the application we're building. I will leave these default and finish. And when I open this up, I will create a package, packages, they're like mini folders that help us arrange our source code. So I will create a package and I will name it um, com and services family three B six and then in that package I will create my first class and I will call that class family tree I do not need a main method. I will generate comments and click finish. So let me make this a little bigger. In this first lesson, I want to demo data types and variables. So it's a family tree, so I want to add attributes. To my family tree that means things about a family tree and then I want to make my attributes private limits access to just class so first I want a string I will call it family tree name a private so I am using camel case lower camel case for this variable name pretty much the preferred convention in Java and I have used upper camel case for my class names Right. I will do private int family tree ID. So each family tree will have a separate ID. And then private local dates family tree created. That will be the date that my family tree was created. Now I need to import local date. So when I click the red X, it shows me the option. And then I need a private double. So before I get into double, in this case, a string is a sequence of characters. So whenever you need a sequence of characters like a name, an address, a sentence, a paragraph, a username, a password, these sorts of values, we use a string. Now an int is for whole numbers. So whenever we need a whole number, no decimal portion, we use an int. And this will simply hold a date. There are different classes in the Java API. I choose local date. And then a double we use when we need a decimal value. So 
I will create a variable of type double. I will call it family tree depth. So decimal value and it will hold the depth of the tree. And I need a character. And I will call it family tree CID, meaning a character ID for the family tree, which represents a shortened version of its name. So if it's Williams, the character ID will be uppercase W. So char is used when we need a single character, any of the characters on the keyboard. And then I, let's see what else I need. I think that's all for now. So these uh, variables. So in Java, Java is very strict. In order to use a variable in Java, we have to use what is called a multi line comment. So far, I've been using single line comments. In Java, when we need a variable, we have to declare it, meaning we say what type it is, or we input what type as well as giving it a name. So in this case, we have declared our variables, which is a must in Java. So in Java, we must declare our variables before we can use them. In languages like Python, you can just write the variable name and use it, assign a value. But in Java, we have to declare variable. So in order to demo assigning values, what I'm going to do is I am going to create what is called a constructor in Java. It is a special method used to create objects. And we will see that when we create our objects. And it's the same name as the class. So I'll do public family tree top. And I am creating what is called a default method, a default constructor. And in this default constructor, I will assign random values. So I will do family tree name equal to just an empty string. And we'll learn more about these family tree ID, just a zero, family tree created, I will do Maybe just today's date. Local date dot now. And then family tree depth. I will just say one. Actually, I'll just say zero. And then family tree CID, 
I'll just do the empty character. Oops. Single quotations for characters. annoying <laughs> so I'm just gonna do single quotation so we have to in Java that's what's a little different about characters and strings the values of a character go into single quotations but for a string we use double quotations I'd also like to add one more variable Call it. I'm going to use a variable of type boolean and I will call it no depth just to demo how to use a boolean. And a boolean is used when we need a true false value. So in this case, I will assign false since false is the default value of a boolean in java and i will save and was a lot we learned how to create a class in java we learned about single line comments multi-line comments these are called variables so we learned how to declare our variables say what type they are give them a name assign values we learned about a constructor and we can see different colors here these are keywords in java meaning they're reserved words so for example i can create a variable called double or boolean or int because they're reserved and also another thing to notice is every block contains an opening and closing curly brace so my class has an opening and closing curly brace my constructor has an opening and closing curly brace and this is my multi-line comment also because i chose generate comments java generated automatic comments as you can see it includes my author name these comments are called the Java docs, and we will look at them in more detail, but it's essentially they create documentation for your application. And then we have our import here. These are classes that they don't belong to us, but we want to use them. So we import them. In this case, I needed an import for local date. And I will see you guys in the next video.